Hello friends, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to discuss the JE Mains 2019 chemistry paper of 8th April 2019 morning session. So students, let us start with the first question of this paper. This is the first question we have. It says, with respect to an ore, a Lingham diagram helps to predict the feasibility of its. First option given is zone refining. Second option given is vapor phase refining. Third option is given thermal reduction. Fourth option is given electrolysis. Students, if I talk about a Lingham diagram, this is a plot of delta G versus temperature for the conversion of metal into oxide. So this diagram helps us in understanding the thermal reduction processes of metal oxide. So the correct answer for this question will be option 3. Now let's move to the next question. This is the next question we have. It says which one of the following equations does not correctly represent the first law of thermodynamics for the given processes involving an ideal gas. You have to assume non-expansion work is zero. The options are isothermal process Q equal to minus W. Second option given is cyclic process Q is equal to minus W. Third option is given for isochoric process delta U equal to Q. And fourth option is given for adiabatic process delta U equal to minus W. Let us check all the options one by one. So if I talk about the first option, it says isothermal process. So students in an isothermal process, the delta U is equals to zero. And we know from the first law of thermodynamics that delta U is equals to Q plus W. So from here we can simply write for an isothermal process, Q is equals to minus W. So these expressions are valid for isothermal process. Now the second process is cyclic process. In the cyclic process, initial and final state of the system is same. So all the state functions will have zero value. So delta u equal to zero and applying the first law of thermodynamics, it will also give us Q equal to minus W. So this is for a cyclic process. Now, if I talk about the third process, it is isochoric process. Students in isochoric process, change in volume is zero. So work done will also be zero. So for an isochoric process, work done is zero. So we can simply write delta U equal to Q. This is for an isochoric process. The last process is given here is adiabatic process. In an adiabatic process, there is no heat exchange. So Q will be equal to zero for an adiabatic process. Hence, delta U will be equal to W. This is for an adiabatic process. So if I go through the options, in the fourth options, it is given that for adiabatic process, delta U equal to minus W, which is incorrect. Here, we should have delta U equal to W. So the incorrect statement or the correct answer for this question will be option four. Now let's move to the next question. This is the next question we have. It says the quantum number of four electrons are given below. First n equal to four, l equal to two. And we have the values of ml minus two, ms minus half. Second n equal to three, l equal to two, ml equal to one, ms equal to plus half. Third is n equal to four, l equal to one, ml equal to zero, ms equal to plus half. Fourth is n equal to three, l equal to one, ml equal to one, ms equal to minus half. Now the question given here is the correct order of their increasing energies will be. So students, according to above principle, 
the electrons are filled in increasing order of their energies and how we find the increasing order of energy with the help of n plus l rule where the n plus l is higher the energy will be higher so let's find n plus l for all these cases so first of all if i talk about the first option here n equal to 4 and l equal to 2 this is first n equal to 4 l equal to 2 so 4 plus 2 gives us n plus l value equal to 6 this is 4d subshell if i talk about the second the second orbital has the value of n equal to 3 and l equal to 2 so n3 l2 so n plus l will be equal to 5 this is 3d subshell if i talk about the third case here n equal to 4 l equal to 1 so in the third case we have n equal to 4 and l equal to 1 so n plus l will be equal to 5 this is 4p subshell now if i talk about the fourth option here n equal to 3 and l equal to 1 n equal to 3 and l equal to 1 this is 3p subshell and here n plus l is equals to 4 so minimum energy will be for fourth orbital because here n plus l is minimum then we have third and second here the values of n plus l is equals to 5 so they will have the higher energy than n plus l equal to 4 now both of them has value 5 so we'll go for n where higher the value of n we will have higher energy so third orbital will have higher energy than the second orbital and the highest energy will be for 1 so this will be the increasing order of energies for the different orbitals given here 1 3 2 4 if we go through the options, we can see the correct answer is given in option 1. And the correct answer for this question is option 1. Now let's move to the next question.